Now, as I'm sure many of you know by now, the hot topic in my restaurant is trading. The biggest issue with this is that a lot of players are brand new. So for that reason, they don't have the old limiteds and they don't really know how much they were valued at back when the global market was in the game. Now, I mentioned this at the end of my video yesterday, where basically a couple of community members by the name of Agent and Chemical went ahead and created their own value list website, where for the most part, they're kind of basing the values off of demand as well as what they were valued at when the global market was around. And honestly, I wasn't really going to talk too much about this, just mainly because I was going to occasionally bring it up in my videos. But yesterday, a couple of you reached out to me in the DMs on Discord, as well as in the comment section, asking me for the value of certain items, which I didn't really have the answer to, mainly because it was quite a bit of you, and I just didn't really want to sit there and explain the value. So I figured we'll go ahead, do this video today, introduce you guys to the website. I'm sure this is going to be one of many different options as far as value lists. And I guess I should also specify that I have absolutely no relationship with this website. For one, I'm not being paid to show this. And two, I don't really work on anything on the website whatsoever. I don't give input on values or anything that gets added or removed from the site. So if you guys have any suggestions, questions, or input in regards to the website, you can join my Discord, which is discord.gg slash carbonmeister. I promise this time I will remember to pin it at the very top of the comments. Inside of there, you will be looking for two users by the name of Chemical and Agent. Hopefully by the time this video goes live, I will have maybe a specific role for them so you guys can look for the two individuals that have the role, my restaurant values. But either way, let's uh, transition over to the website so I can show you guys and kind of break things down for you. All right, so as you can see right here, we are currently on myrestaurantvalues.com that is the name of the website and this is what it looks like inside of here there will be three different options you're going to have appliances furniture and decor now one thing to point out specifically under furniture is you'll probably notice that there is quite a bit of furniture missing in here the reason for this which i did ask the owner chemical or i guess i should say one of the owners his answer was that basically everything is kind of uh fluctuating constantly right now because of all the hype that's going on and also because obviously it's very, very new as far as the whole training aspect. So right now, the only furniture that really has value on here are limited items. By that, I'm referring to things that are obviously only for Robux, being Royal Chairs, Corrupted, as well as the Santa Sleigh. So I guess we'll use this as kind of like the quick little breakdown. If you notice over here, Royal Chairs are currently going for roughly around 600 mil. Obviously, you're going to find people that are selling these for more. And if you get lucky, you'll probably find somebody that's selling it for cheaper. If we click on view more, like I said, this site is very new, but in theory, there is a chart down here that will be constantly keeping track showing the ups and downs of the values for these individual items it's actually really really cool and very well done then it gives you an overall breakdown of the item it says obtainable yes with robux original price was 1.5 million when this item was released in game which obviously we now know that's been removed and then it kind of gives you like a brief description on basically what the royal chairs are about moving over to appliances you again have a couple of things that were limited or that you can obviously purchase for robux in the shop right now this is kind of like the first time that i'm going over a lot of these values and they look fairly reasonable i mean there is certain things in here that are kind of irrelevant that are never really used for layouts such as the popcorn machine and the balloon machine but i think because they were so irrelevant and they still kind of are that's the reason why they're valued by so much 75 mil for one popcorn machine is kind of crazy but i would imagine that there probably isn't a lot of these that exist. And I mentioned yesterday, there probably wasn't a lot of these duped because of the fact that they're so kind of uh, useless, I guess. Now, I will say the candy machine being at 250 mil is kind of crazy, but I think I do remember it being that price when the global market was around. So makes sense. Moving up here, we have the luxury silverware tray, 2 billion. That's insane. Coffee machine at 1.75 billion. That I know is very much accurate because I was trying to buy a coffee machine during the entire chef cat thing right before they turned off the global market and i clearly remember it being somewhere around that price moving over here to decor this is uh the interesting side of things okay because we have the crash cactus 5 billion a lot of items that are extremely expensive right now are just purely cosmetic items but there is a lot of collectors out there that really like racking up a bunch of these more specifically the kind of like holy grail item being the eternal statue this is 25 
billion right now. And I've seen people get way more value than that, which is literally insane. Now, if you know the backstory to this, which I wonder if they have it here. They do. Okay, so the Eternal Statue is a limited item that is the future version of the VIP statue. It originally sold for 5 billion. There were initially only 100 sold which I'd like to point out, I did purchase one of these and I still own it till this day. But then it says, and this number remained the same until 817, 2020, when the duping incident happened. So that's kind of like a short little breakdown of how the Eternal Statue kind of started and where it ended up with. Kind of a crazy story, man. I do remember this so much. And at the time I was like, dude, it's gonna be really cool because it was such a low quantity item that honestly being able to have gotten my hands on that was super insane. And then there was hundreds, if not thousands of them that started to exist. But yeah, that's pretty much the entire website. The information on there is for the most part, I would say kind of accurate. Obviously things will be changing constantly and they're gonna have to keep up to kind of date with all of that stuff. But again, I'm sure if you have any questions, you can go ahead and reach out to Chemical or Agent and they'll be able to help you out. They also have a couple of other individuals that are a part of their values council or something like that pretty sure they have their entire team listed up on their website so you can figure out if maybe one of your friends are working on the value list but again there's going to be a lot of these probably popping up left and right so i guess now it's just kind of a waiting game to see which one sticks because well we know that on pet simulator x uh, cosmic is kind of the one that a lot of people use and it's going to be pretty interesting to see if maybe some of those companies or websites or whatever you want to call them start branching out and come over to my restaurant either way i figured i would go ahead and jump in here to see uh if anything has changed if i'm able to go ahead and finally trade in this trading plaza normally i get spammed with trades and people kind of just surrounding me so makes it really difficult for me to trade in here but i'm really not too worried about it i know that once we get the pro plaza and once we get like hopefully booths i'll be able to really enjoy the absolute most out of this so i'm really excited if we take a look over here at my trading most of my trades lately have been me just giving away stuff so i kind of went in bought a bunch of superhero stuff for a bunch of people and gave it to them for free this guy kind of threw in a bunch of his random stuff. But yeah, for the most part, I've just been kind of giving away stuff. I haven't really been doing any trades. And um, yeah, it's kind of obvious here. As you can see, it literally goes, oh, I guess Redacted kind of gave me a bunch of stuff. This was actually during the stream. I was super happy about this. So shout out to Redacted, man. He definitely helped me out a lot with being able to test some of the really, really end game stuff. So I'm super duper excited about that. And then of course we have uh, the occasional person that I gave a market crash cactus to because they actually won one of the giveaways during my stream. So to those three of you, which are these three guys right here, Justin, Fat Rat, and Planning Your Downfall, all three of them actually went ahead and won a market crash cactus. I'll be doing more of those giveaways during the stream. I have already been surrounded, so I think we're going to end off the video right here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it and helped you out. If you've heard of any other value lists, let me know in the comments. I'm definitely curious to check a lot of them out. But I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. Like always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.